This instrument behind me is going to simulate what it's like to have headlights shining in your eyes. We've seen this over and over again, I'm sure, where you're driving along a highway in the country and the oncoming car, their headlights are on high beam and all of a sudden you have to look down to the left or otherwise you'd lose your night vision. We're going to simulate this by having a black background and we've deliberately got lettering that's white on a black background to try to see how far we can read down this line. So obviously we can see the A and the T and the L, but can we read even to this extent with the headlights shining straight into our eyes? We're going to find that out as we bring in our student for the day to demonstrate this. He's going to start reading from the top here and just demonstrate that he can read to the bottom line just under normal lighting conditions. Yep. Thanks, Kieran. A, T, A, A, N, K, H, D, M, R. Okay, let's see if you can read the bottom line. H, O, P, A, R, K. Okay, so we've demonstrated that Kieran, under normal lighting conditions, can easily read this eye chart right down to the bottom line. Even though he's got glasses on, his eyesight's reasonably good. We're now going to change these lighting conditions by turning on the floodlights, blaring straight into his eyes, and let's see how far he can read down the eye chart. A, T, A, A, N, K, H, D, M, L, L, D, B. Just faltered a little bit there and he got down to number nine. So now we have the situation, frosted screen, still with the headlights shining in his eyes and see if you can read any further down. A, T, A, A, N, K, H, D, H, I, L, L, B, U, D, C. <laughs> well, you faltered again. It's on the same line. So what I was hoping would be shown is that the frosted screen made it a little bit easier to read, but the lighting conditions are still fairly glary, even with this frosted screen. Almost made it down to the next line. We're now going to change the lighting conditions a little bit differently, and we're going to move the screen up a lot higher and seeing how the angle allows him to read a little bit further down the eye chart or not. Right, we'll start now with the first letter. A, T, A, A, N. And now the bottom line. H, E, B, B. Okay. We've just had a few little errors there, but at least you got now to the bottom line the glare is still in his eyes, and obviously that's upsetting him a little bit. But we've moved the screen up, and it's out of his view. Well, let's see if how far you can read. A, D, A, A, N, K. And now the bottom line. D, R, L, A, B. C. Ah, but that's a vast improvement. And so what we've got now is a situation with black lettering, black background, white lettering, frosted screen above the zone of influence on his reading. He's reading virtually the same as what he could prior to when we started. So we now have changed the background no longer is it black, it's white. And Kieran, we're going to get you to read under normal lighting conditions 
and see if he can get to the bottom level without any light shining in his eyes. C H O P A R K. So he got to the bottom line but faltered on the second letter. We're now going to turn on the floodlights, simulating headlight conditions, right into his eyes, and let's see how far down we can read. N K H I D B. Okay, we faltered on this line. So there's a clear demonstration of the spotlight straight into his eyes and only being able to read down to this line compared to what he could read when the headlights were off. Let's put the frosted screen on. We've got the headlights, but with the frosted screen. So we're going to see how far down the chart. N, K, H, I, D, B. Oh, <laughs> okay. A little bit further but still faltered even with the frosted screen and the headlights. As we did previously, we're going to move the screen up and see if he can read any further down the chart with the light level up a lot higher. So now we've got the situation where Kieran's going to read the eye chart with the headlights, no frosted screen, starting with the first letter. E, N, N. K, H, N, K. Okay, we faltered. So we've now got the situation where we've got the frosted screen, headlights up high, and we're going to ask Kieran now to read the lettering, and let's see how far down the chart he can get this time. So just starting with the first letter. E, N, N, K. H, N, K. Okay, you almost got to the end. It's a little bit better, but it's not ideal. Having done this exercise, the question arises, why have we done it? We have a white background now, but previously we had a black background. The reason for that is we need to understand what glare is like and how glare limits our ability to see detail. That's the whole idea that when we are designing our buildings, we want to remove any glare situations. Our lights are up high. We got this up high. It was, to a certain extent, out of his field of view. We don't like glare. It stops us from being able to see detail. And so when we design our buildings, we make sure that any windows, where direct sunlight comes in is avoided. There are so many situations that we need to think it through. Removing glare is the essential criteria.